Saturday, October 1st, 2016, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Uh, today, I'd like to first thank all the viewers that have subscribed to my channel. Uh, just to give you an example, yesterday was uh, the best day for my channel. I gained 119 subscribers. And I started making these videos uh, around around uh, November uh, 2015 and it took me until February to get 138 subscribers so three months to get 138 subscribers in the beginning and and now I I almost got that number 119 in one day so why do I make my videos why am I on YouTube well I'll refresh people, you know, new viewers who haven't really been uh, looking or viewing my videos. Back uh, in November, I, you know, I, I used to, uh, well, first of all, earlier last year, my daughter, who's a, a, at the time was 19, I was talking to her and she was talk, saying, oh, uh, I saw this on YouTube. And I say, oh, you, you watch YouTube a lot. And she says, yes. I prefer YouTube to television. And then I started watching YouTube uh, channel uh, videos. And uh, I started, I subscribed to uh, Jay Snip 4, who I enjoy very much listening to. Uh, I think he's really down to earth. And and the interesting about Jay Snip 4, he was explaining, uh, you know, telling the viewers how, you know, uh, his background, you know, how he's, started doing videos and and he was saying how much you know revenues he was getting as well from the videos from advertising and I thought wow you know if Jay Snip 4 can do that I can do that and uh, I in the beginning I have to say I get you know my videos weren't as popular but you know, I've gone through YouTube uh, done some of their tutorials learned some got some tips about how to market mindset myself and uh, yes I, I am I have to be honest it's nice to make some art advertisement revenue it took me probably it took me five months to actually get to the threshold of 60 pounds a month to get paid but now I'm making uh, four times over that threshold a month my latest uh, you know revenues and uh, it's nice. And I, I have to be honest, it, it's good to get paid for something that you enjoy doing. And uh, my background, of course, is in finance. I worked in the city of London for over 20 years. Before that, I started my career uh, in Geneva, Switzerland at a small private bank. So I've got knowledge of the markets. Uh, I have a degree, uh, undergraduate degree in international uh, relations and economics. I've been self-taught for the last 15 years into the Austrian School of Economics. And I true, you know, I found out while I was still working in the city that the system is completely uh, screwed up, our monetary system. And as a result, not only the city and the markets are, you know, based on a foundation of uh, sand, but the whole of our economy. And uh, so I, I worked till 2012 in the city uh, as a futures and options broker, derivatives, but they're not over-the-counter derivatives, they're exchange-traded derivatives. Um, and uh, the firm I worked for, they got rid of people and I was one of them. And I decided to start my uh, own business with my own money. I bought into a franchise a pawnbroking franchise uh, because I thought, you know, you know, you might say, oh, that's uh, extortion, pawnbroking. But it's quite an interesting business because you, uh, the pawnbroker actually takes something, a collat something of value as collateral, and he actually lends probably 50 to 60 percent of the value uh, of that item to the person who wants to borrow the money. So I think it's compared to banking that we have today, you know, bankers lend money that they don't even have with no collateral sometimes. So, but anyway, the 
pawnbroking business. I had I opened a shop and everything. I ran it for almost two years. It, it grew very well, and uh, but there was just not enough uh, profit, and uh, I couldn't. Uh, I just decided to to sell it off. I did take a hit. That's how business works. You know, maybe uh, our bankers should learn about that. You know, if they make a bad decision, they should pay for it. And I have. And then uh, f from 2014, end of 2014, till, you know, recently, I, I have been sending my CV uh, to, um, you know, firms in the city unsu unsuccessfully. Uh, not too many interviews. I've sent hundreds of, uh, you know, CVs to hundreds of applications. And, and then I started making my videos in November just for fun. I thought, oh, if Jay Snip 4 can do it, you know. And in the beginning, I thought, well, I'm never going to get to a thousand subscribers, but now I'm over 3,000. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. And, uh, but the main reason for me, uh, to do the videos is to get the message across about our monetary system. I think if, um, you know, people were taught about what money really is from a young age and how the system works, uh, the world would be a much better place. Uh, I guess Henry Ford said something to that effect. He said that, you know, if the people knew exactly how our monetary system worked, there would be a revolution uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Not start a revolution, but educate people. And some people might that are watching this might think, oh, he, he's not going to reach enough people. It's too late. I don't think it's ever too late. And um, if I, if I uh, you know, I'm only reaching it right now, I guess, 3,000 subscribers. That's a drop in the ocean. But you never know. Things uh, could uh, snowball. Every person that... I'm able to like open their eyes to things, the better. And the other thing I do in this channel uh, is cover the markets because that's something that I'm experienced in. I don't try to advise people exactly you know, what to do with their money. I just try to tell them what I look at and what I think. And uh, they have, you know, you have to do your own work. It's like Jesse Livermore, he was, uh, you know, a sole operator, he used to call himself. He never liked to talk to anyone about what he did. Uh, he kept everything to himself, and he did that. That was his life, the markets. So if you want to be involved in markets, that's what it takes. And I, I can, like, give you my, uh, you know, uh, kind of expertise and my ideas and I cover, of course, precious metals because I think that's the only way uh, for people, if they can, to save, you know, their wealth or their money because it's and Bitcoin as well, cryptocurrencies, uh, because there's a difference between the kind of money we have now, the fiat money and real money. Fiat money is political money, and that's why the system is so you know, where it is right now, we're over indebted, uh, you know, the economy doesn't, is in a quagmire, uh, there's high unemployment, there's 95 million people out of work in the US, uh, in Europe, uh, youth unemployment is like off the, you know, off the scale, and <laughs> everything's screwed up because our Money has been hijacked by politicians and the bankers through the central banks. It's a marriage between the central banks and the politicians because the only uh, way a central bank can exist is through legislation because basically a central bank has a monopoly of money creation uh, in an economy. So can you imagine uh, if... Uh, Bitcoin uh, became a monop monopoly and the people that behind Bitcoin became the only people who could issue money. That wouldn't be a good thing. So that's why I believe in competing currencies, be they gold, silver, Bitcoin, Ethereum, 
uh, anything that people actually like would like to indirectly exchange for their goods and services because that's what money really is it's a way to indirectly exchange goods and services it's a way also of being able to preserve your excess goods and services and wealth throughout a lifetime without losing the value of that and that's why gold and silver is so important that's why uh, the mainstream and the establishment uh, disparage gold because it's a threat to the uh, present system and that's why central banks still keep gold uh, because they need to be able to keep it under control and that's why it's so frustrating watching sometimes you know the way the gold market uh, trades but you shouldn't let that uh, discourage you because what what would you rather have you know gold and silver physical gold and silver or money at Deutsche Bank or JP Morgan or RBS or NatWest uh, I know what I'd rather have I know you do people we still do need money to function in the banks uh, because to pay our bills and everything but uh, I, I know what I prefer so yeah that's that's why I'm here um, I think we need to uh, you know let people know about the system that it's a corrupt uh, not even yeah it is corrupt and it is unsustainable system yeah and my, some of you might say oh you anti-central bank you know they're helping our market stay up no they're not they're disrupting the free market we don't have free markets and uh, what we have is uh, a fascist um, crony uh, not even capitalist system it's a fascist system so even the and the left and, and it makes uh, people go back to the divisions of left and right you know here in the UK the Labour Party they want to go back to socialism which is basically uh, only works through uh, a central banking monopolistic fiat money system because how are you going to sponsor socialism under a sound money competing currency free market system? And the same thing goes for the right wing neoconservatives. How are we going to sponsor their uh, war, uh, war, you know, war state, you know, and corporate uh, crone, crone, crony corporate capitalism system without the fiat money? So sound money real money uh, gold silver cryptocurrencies is independent real money that represents wealth and freedom and it's not of left and right that's why yeah it's bringing labor back into power in the UK is not going to do anything keeping the conservatives they call themselves conserving power is not going to help um, so and in the states as well uh trump and hillary is more of this left and right trump you know he might be uh having a go at the establishment but if he really was for real uh his main plank would be to abolish the federal reserve and i haven't heard him say anything to that effect he's been critical of janet yellen but he hasn't been critical of the federal reserve so uh that's why I'm here and uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep updating you with uh, interesting uh, videos ideas and updates and uh, please if you uh, like this video click on the you know thumbs up uh, share it and if you haven't subscribed yet uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to donate as well um, I've got links below in the description uh, I take Bitcoin that's my favorite uh, currency in terms of YouTube channel payments even though of course uh, I buy gold and silver as well but uh, I haven't found an easy way for people to send gold and silver it's easier to send Bitcoin and uh, I still take fiat money it's still part we're still in the system and the links are below for PayPal and Patreon so uh, take care and I uh, hope you have a good weekend. Bye.